Welcome to English class number four. In this lesson, we are going to understand past simple tense. And here you have eight different points. All these eight things we are going to understand detail, right? In a detail. So the first is we are going to understand five vocabulary words in video and context. You're going to understand meaning by watching short clip or you're going to understand with context. So our first word is tidy. Even as a child, she liked her living room tidy. There is also phrasal verb tidy up and it has the same meaning tidy and tidy up. You can understand by video or that's the context. You can message below by creating sentence or writing the meaning of them. And second word is slice, right? So here slicing something for example jack sliced cucumber so here you understand the meaning of slice with this one i hope these two words are new words for you it is much easier for you to understand what's happening in the video and i have wrote for you already but i have created these sentences in the past tense it's supposed to be in continuous according to the video but I have described in the past tense because we are learning past tense. Number three word, leap. John ran and leaped over a table. As you can see in a video to understand much better. And portable. She had a portable fan in her home office. So I hope you understand what does portable mean also. Try to write sentences of each word below for your practice the last word number five word is collapse the wooden building collapsed i hope you understand so number second point is what is past simple tense past simple tense describes some completed actions that begin and finished in the past and this is one of the most common tense in the grammar right we use a lot every time we speak we describe we at least use this so this is really interesting to understand here we have examples for example i went to school she did her homework they were at home yesterday we had a nice house these are very two common sentences maybe sometime you can hear them people are making mistakes they don't know tenses so you can't say we gone to school you can say we went to school because we are using second form with past simple tense i hope you are understanding and you're getting my point when to use there are three interesting common points where we use this tense first when talking about event or things that happened in the past for example we played soccer yesterday with friends. So we were playing yesterday, right? So the thing is already happened. The second point, we are when talking about somebody's mood or how one's feeling in the past. So here, here is the example. They were not happy with you. So we are talking here moment in the past that time they were not happy right so we used were if you're confused why we use here were because were is a continuous right helping verb or auxiliary verb actually we use it because we are using in a sentence structure here sentence structure is simple not continuous that's why we are using so i'm going to teach you sentence structure of course but before we are going to finish storytelling, the third point. Storytelling is very common in past tense when you want to describe some past stories, past things. For example, once upon a time, there was a small town, three kings used to live, etc., etc., right? You can create more story like that. And the third point, we are having sentence structure and subject so first one is positive remember 
if you want to create sentence as a positive always use subject second form and verb if you are using did you don't need to use the second form for example i did my homework that this time you don't need to uh, use double verb in other way for example i went to school right so you don't need to say i did went to school i did went to school can be wrong so that's why you have to use one only one past form not two together but in the negative you are going to use of course past form as a helping verb but you cannot use the verb as a second form here we are going to use only base base means the first form of the verb subject did not first form of the verb and object for example i didn't go to school did not i did not go to school yeah that's it interrogative did subject base form of the verb and object so you don't need to think about the past form for example and uh, did i um, went to school so that's no you have to did i go to school right so you're asking here question that's a very very interesting point you have to always understand when you are speaking sometimes you are saying i uh, i did i did spoke or i didn't i didn't start it sometimes people are using this way i didn't start it story so i didn't start it is basically grammatically wrong because you're using did not and started is also past form so that's most often in negative tense i hear a lot of beginners they are making mistake all right negative interrogative in negative interrogative you are going to understand these two type of forms previously we understood in the present continuous tense two form of them the which one is the first one is very popular for example subject before subject you can put uh, did not didn't you speak to him didn't you speak to him right so here you're using did not subject first form an object and question mark on the other hand we are saying did subject not did you not talk to him did you not talk to him that's more polite but that's not really common a lot of people use this one informal right here we have a subject i hope you are clear we always use he she it did and was i we you they did and were when you talk about had so you can use had to all of them i we you she it all i had we have you have she had all of them moving to point four positive and negative into sentences i broke his glass right this is a more positive so this time we use the same structure in two sentences subject and second form and his somebody's and glass so in the video you may see it here negative they didn't tell me about it they didn't tell me about it so we already used the past form you cannot say they didn't told me about it that's wrong they didn't tell me that's right you can create more sentences for better practice number five interrogatives why i wrote interrogatives because i am going to tell you some mixture of them for example did you finish your homework that's so common because it's interrogative we use so often when you want to ask something that already happened or not but negative interrogative we are going to use negatively we are negatively asked someone that whether it has happened or not didn't you play with us right that's past or did you not play with us that's what i have already taught you in the previous part three so and in the part five we have a last mixture of open-ended questions this is very important 
if you want to ask mixture here open-ended question it means you are going to ask some kind of questions they are needing they are requiring more context to give answer that's more encouraging to someone to speak right so why didn't she play with us so when i say didn't you play with us you can say yes or no but when you say why didn't you play with us right so it can be more more like in the context you have to give answer like that so how did we go inside that's also type of who so these all type of questions they are needing or requiring different type of context in order to give answer so that's all you can see when did julia pay the bill where did she not sweep the floor so you're asking a specific uh, kind of location where she didn't sweep the floor right that's all in the five part number six part it's interesting for you to understand where to use did was were had so had was were did did is a past form of do i think you already know and this is auxiliary verb i mean helping verb i did my homework right so this is very simple use here he didn't speak to him he didn't tell me he didn't do his homework so we use negatively i already taught you was where we use to describe some actions states condition that happened in the past i was at the gym yesterday we were not happy to hear that so these are two sentences are using was were and they are describing some actions conditions that were happened right so that's all connection in the past the last point we are going to understand is had possession ownership of something in the past for example i had two glasses it means i had i'm talking about the past but now i don't have a two glasses but i had two glasses here she had two dogs when she was 17 years old when she was young so that time she had but no not anymore or i can say that she has a really nice house i have a really beautiful room i have a i have a really uh expensive rep laptop but i'm saying this in the present i have i have when i want to say had in the past so i would say i had a pc but now i have laptop right so i had is something possess so the ownership that i had not anymore so i had a bike i had a car that's all about that i hope you i made it clear for you feel free to message me first of all comment me below if you're getting any kind of questions any kind of suggestions type it for me below please so moving to the seventh exercise and in the seventh exercise past tense in the story that's what i want to say before uh, we have had storytelling definition so this is a third type of that we use a lot when we want to describe you're going to find out past verb and use them into your own sentence let me read it for you in a simple very slowly so you can understand pronunciation once upon a time there was a curious boy named roy who lived in a small village one day he went on an adventure to find an ancient forest he had heard about from the older after a long walk he finally found the forest and a huge old tree in the middle of it when he touched the tree he saw visions of the past and felt connected to everything around him roy went back home feeling amazed and promised to always protect nature so what do you think what did you learn from roy's story you're going to explain by using past simple tense this is going to be your also exercise where you're going to do it now after pausing this video and trying to describe them in this way and the last one we are going to do is 
I'm going to show you. But before try to understand, we're going to also do two type of things: finding verb and doing this. So red lines are necessary for you to understand that what to do here in this activity. Lastly, we have homework for you. In this homework, you are going to describe pictures by using following verb. I mean words we learned in the beginning. So tidy, slice, leap, clasp, and portable. We learned these all. We have these pictures. They are completely connected them. You're going to create sentences or as much as you can use again and again the word into pictures, it'll be great for you to understand these five words. That is for today's lesson. Today's lesson is short lesson, just this 50 to 70 minute. So I hope you have understand, you've been understanding everything. Feel free to message me whenever you have uh, questions. I would love to help you and love you guys. Take care of yourself. Bye.